Hi, we're just here by Lake Lucerne eating lunch. Now, when you look online, a lot of suggestions to eat in Switzerland, to eat out on a budget, you will find the only suggestion is to go to Coop, go to Migro and to rate their convenience sections. And we're not all against that. Under certain circumstances, you should do that. But here are a few more tips on how to eat cheap and delicious in Switzerland. So our first tip is going to bakeries. For the total of what I'm going to show you now, we have spent 14 Swiss francs and it includes this bread that goes along with this quinoa salad. We have got a Ziegerkrapfe, which basically is deep fried and it's filled with a sort of uh, it's a Swiss thing, it's called Ziegel. Uh, it's a cheese basically made with whey. Now, if you're going to bakeries and you do not like sandwiches and savory stuff, at least go for the sweet things because they're absolutely delicious. And a real meal is a sandwich. Uh, it's filled with turkey breast. This costs about six Swiss francs. And you tell me now that this bread looks like something you could do yourself. And you're absolutely right, you can. And off we go to our second tip. We see a lot of tourists going to Migro, buying bread, buying cheese, buying dry meat, buying some tomatoes and sitting by the lake. Now, what a lot of you think you're doing is the ultimate budget version, but in fact you're eating an authentic Swiss meal. Um, back in the day, Swiss people were very poor and this was uh, one way to eat uh, dinner, for example. There's even a word for it in German. It's called Abendbrot and basically it means evening bread, okay? So bread was consisting in the evening for dinner. So here we come to the convenience section of Migro and Coop and the sorts. You could buy it, but let's if you compare it to a bakery at normal prices, you will get much less for your money. So what you can do is maybe an hour to half an hour before the shops close, you can go inside and we will put a 50% off sticker on those items that have need to go for the day and you can purchase it then, which I think then they're actually accurately priced. Another way to get cheap convenience food is with the app called Too Good To Go. Um, if you don't know it, maybe you Google it. Basically, uh, you pay a certain price and you get uh, a lot more than uh, the face value of uh, these items are from restaurants, from shops, from uh, bakeries as well. And uh, this is a good way uh, to save a lot of money or how Swiss people save a lot of money today. And we've got another place, it's called Aspar. Um, it's written a bit funny for you, maybe. Uh, it's basically translated into Swiss German, which it means then edible. And it's a company that goes around and collects from bakeries the items that run out for the day and sells them the next day for much cheaper. But then you think, I come all the way to Switzerland, I do not want to eat all this discount food all the time, I want to go to a restaurant. And of course you can, there are plenty of options for you as well. Um, we recommend that if you like this, everything we mentioned before, the Abendbrot, the evening bread type style food, you do it in the evening. If you go to a restaurant, go for lunch because the lunch menus, you get away a lot of the times for two people, uh, maybe for 30 Swiss francs, including a drink and a two course meal. And this is something uh, we do a lot, restaurants for lunch. Now there are different type of restaurants. Um, there are typical Swiss restaurants, which we call Bites. Uh, they are generally a bit cheaper. Uh, you recognize them with a name, you do not know what it means. They're usually very heavily advertised with, uh, for example, Coke or, or beer companies or, or anything else. Uh, they're also a bit dated very, very often, so it might look a bit bad for you, but actually it isn't. Uh, it's absolutely perfectly good food. Uh, I wouldn't say there is any bad food in Switzerland, to be fair with you, uh, at least quality-wise. Another dish you need to try in Switzerland, which is cheap as well, is called Döner Kebab. Um, you find it everywhere in Europe, it's usually there, it's very cheap and it's got a bad reputation. I can assure you in Switzerland it doesn't. Uh, there is about two or three larger meat manufacturers when it comes to that and uh, you can really nothing do much wrong with that and usually you'll get away for a dinner for under 10 Swiss francs. Now obviously you think, okay we're going into fast food, how about 
McDonald's, how about Burger King, how about Subway, we do have them, but they're rather pricey and as well, similar to what I mentioned before, the quality is a bit different than what you may know and this is an option for you. You think now, well, I'm not American, so how about my food? How about Indian food? How about Asian food? Same here, they sometimes look a bit cheap from the outside, the food is actually really good inside and you can get away with cheap meals. So all the meals I'm talking here right now in this video are probably about 20 Swiss francs or less, which isn't that much in Switzerland. So. This is one way, and if you go up to them and talk in your native language to them, they go in the back and get the authentic ingredients, get the authentic spices just for you to make it feel at home.